Can Europe be rebuilt? And what can we preserve? The relation between how Europe is seen and how it is experienced is more tenuous than ever. Hay Festival Europa 28 is a space beyond Europe's traditional centres of power, in which 28 women writers, journalists, artists, scientists and entrepreneurs from across the continent share their visions for the future of Europe. Can Europe rebuild trust? Now, this is one of the questions that we will need to deal in the future. So the essential feature of European project needs to be democracy. What we need to fight for is the sur survival of democratic institutions, survival of independent media, uh, survival of uh, sort of institutions that are fighting for human rights, and especially survival of critique of the structures of power. It's no longer possible for anybody through normal physical work or just a normal job to move socially up the ladder. It's only possible if you do investments in this very abstract financial world. Yes. And this is why I talk in my piece about how the it's when somehow the abstraction uh, or the invention of the abstract has more influence on our real world than what we do in the real world, then we're on the wrong track. And we're on the wrong track on, in the financial market and in technology. Science held Europe together before the economy did. I grew up thinking about Europe as the bright future of our generation. And instead, I have the feeling that today it cannot even represent a solid present. I grew up in 90s uh, post-Soviet Slovakia, um, when everyone kind of believed it's only going to get better and better in this world, and there will be more freedom and more peace and more money. and. No one really looked back uh, for patterns of how, how was it even possible that we fell for one totalitarian system after another during the 20th century. And my answer to that is lack of persistence. Once we win, uh, once we feel free, we simply stop caring. We need to be persistent uh, in order to have peace and, and, and have freedom and healthy environment. You could have said that this was magical thinking for leaders to stand up and say we're going to provide decent housing, we're going to provide education, healthcare, um, you know, this, this could have just been dismissed as magical, but, but somehow those stories cut through. Europe's strength, the diversity, has a good potential. But we got to make sure that it does not stay only in hashtag. My experience in technology industry and bringing hundreds of women from non-technology backgrounds into technology industry over the past years taught me a lot about diversity and a lot about change. Europe was, is and can be attractive in the next decades. Technology can help, but utmost important is that we Europeans, male and female, stay strong as one family defending what we have achieved. I suppose the question is that the European project itself grew out of a sort of wave of social and economic transformation after the Second World War. And can we use this moment of rupture now to kind of rethink and reimagine in the ways that are put forward in the collection and the ways that we're talking about? We have to deal with a lot of failure. And I think once we realized we wanted to do something more than one Facebook post, um, we face a lot of failure. And I think it's important to accept these failures of ours and, and embrace them. And, and, and that's the only way, I think, uh, to fight for big causes bigger than us.